Hi everyone, back again, making another YouTube video, believe it or not. Uh, today I am covering me doing a painting of myself, <laughs> but as the Mona Lisa. So obviously we start off, we do reference pictures. We already talked about this, we know this is my back. I love me a reference picture. And funnily enough, I'm trying to like keep it so consistent to the original. I'm trying to basically recreate under my own parameters what da vinci would have done wow that sounds so precocious um mm -hmm. you know what i said what i said and i'm sticking to it my entire point was i was trying to make a painting a digital version of a traditional oil, oil painting and keep consistent to how i would have approached it in oils so i did the the whole like underpainting and i'm keeping it all like value tones of brown because you know I, i'm a I'm a black girl, so this is kind of approximate to my melanin. Um, so yeah, I basically did some research into how like you would approach a Renaissance oil painting. And essentially you start off, like I said, with the kind of value color system at the base, and then you do glazes on top of that to build color. So I did my version of doing a glaze on top i did all the i mostly did this with my face to be fair the background kind of just did whatever but i really wanted obviously the face to stand out because she you know she's the star of the show what can i say um so yeah i started off with my values on the bottom and started plotting in you'll see it come up soon but started doing kind of a i forgot which layer styling i used to do this on photoshop but basically doing like a multiply layer or something like that to get the effect of light washes on top of the base so here i'm still basically putting in the values i know it doesn't seem like it but you know the hair is like the darkest mass on the whole thing actually the hair and the outfit are the two darkest masses on this whole thing so i kind of just plopped in the highlights on the hair and like you know the big fast colors on the hair so it it looks like i'm rendering it i'm not rendering it yet okay it's still the values i promise <laughs> um i'm basically just kind of carving in like the ringlets and things like that to get some of that curl definition and by doing a lot of that work on the front end when it came down to like kind of rendering it out it was a little easy peasy on that end because I did all that work at the beginning. See, you got to save future you sometimes. That's what it's all about. I'm trying to look out for future Momo and make sure her life is as easy as possible. You can see me kind of clicking back and forth between the original Mona Lisa. This wasn't the best reference picture. I think I ended up using something that was a little bit lighter just so I could see the background because I was running into... I don't know what this background is doing issues but for the main events for the star of the show the Mona Lisa herself it was pretty decent reference to kind of get I was trying to get the colors and stuff like that right and the values of those colors right because like I said it's value painting um this is the glazing process it's happening look at the life coming into her face look at that she's getting like browner we love that um and I'm playing with the different layer stylings to get the one that feels the most correct so i don't look like a clown that would be nice and yeah mm -hmm. that's that's what's happening here it's a weird process but trust it okay also i love a little blush moment that's like my favorite part of any drawing i love putting a little rosy cheek and red nose i don't know i'm, I'm obsessed with it so i had to i had to throw that in there i had to give me a little blush a little something something uh yeah you can you can see i have a little color palette up in the corner there to try and keep it consistent and yeah glazing 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 there's not really much to say about this part i kind of already explained it i'm glazing y'all that's that's what's happening we're getting our colors in. Oh, now this is my favorite part of the entire video. I don't know what it is. I just love seeing this, this get rendered out. It just looks so pretty. I just really love this part. So this is the actual painting on top of the values and the lines and everything. And I've heard other artists describe painting as kind of like carving 
color basically carving away stuff and that's what this felt like it felt something about it was like weighty and hefty and i just loved for lack of a better term to steal other people's terminology i loved carving color in this painting it was so fun it just looks so mm. okay for my painting girlies out there you get it you understand something about this was just satisfying so yeah this is my favorite part of the entire video just seeing me paint this one eye forever honestly i'm trying to think of if i have any imparting wisdom after doing this entire process and i feel like it did help me like be a it helped me become a stronger painter it's kind of like doing a master's study in a way but in a in a more fun way because it's a self-portrait i i'm not i've said this before i'm not the strongest painter in the world i'm not the strongest renderer so doing this is really educational um i think I'm, i'd be a lot better now like going taking the strengths i learned from this if i had to go paint a piece i feel like i'd i'm in a lot better of a position to do that because i don't know it, it made me rethink my approach i also think the starting base of doing my values first and kind of building on top of that was really useful for me i struggled with values a lot in college every single piece that i did my professors would be like you know it's great but like i feel like all your values are the same and i'd be like girl i don't know i don't know how to fix that <laughs> i give up um yeah so this actually forced me to to look at my values especially something that's like close in value like my face there's it, there wasn't much strong lighting or anything like that to make you call them shadow shapes so i kind of had to to steal the words of another professor of mine lie to tell the truth and kind of fudge it a little bit to get stronger shapes on my face so it looked interesting um yeah somewhere along the way though i do think when you noodle a lot with something you start it starts getting a little flat so i gotta i gotta learn how to pull back a little bit but all in due time all right we're one step at a time we just learned painting we will learn the rest of the nuances with another piece i swear i'm gonna do that yeah, yeah, yeah i'm gonna learn Okay, we're now in the screen recording portion of events. I don't know how this works for anyone else, but I do get some level of like anxiety or like paralysis when I'm painting with like the camera over my shoulder. So it's easier to do the screen recording because I don't have to actually think about it. But yeah, I just, I know it, it's nice when you get the, the over the shoulder. So I try to mix it up, but I'll be real with you i just couldn't do it anymore <laughs> especially with a piece like this one it was kind of complicated so i just needed the space to make a mistake without it feeling like someone was watching over me 
and that's also why towards the end of the video i don't have very much information on how i fixed the background because i did change the background up a little bit but i'll leave future me to explain all that basically what's happening here is me trying to work out how to build the background and once again i'm looking at like i said a lighter picture of the mona lisa to try to figure out what am i doing how does it actually look back there what's going on and using that to make a decision about how to approach me actually doing my background so yeah the, the original has a lot of like it's just rivers and bridges and roads yeah and so I was trying to figure out how to make rivers and bridges and roads <laughs> for mine <laughs> um yeah I don't really think there's much I have to say about this piece this portion of events really it, it is what it is I was using a lot of textured brushes to get that oil painty effect and I was just throwing in some foliage girl it's like yo can a can a river go here let's put a river here can a road go here let's do that uh, yeah uh, I would love to say that there was a lot more thought in the background but there really wasn't I was just kind of winging it and seeing what works all an important part of the art process I swear winging it the often the least often talked about
right around here, right around here is when I did the deadly horizontal flip and I went, <laughs> oh, oh no. Um, I don't remember if I recorded too much of the process of me fixing it because like I said, I got that camera anxiety, bro. So sometimes I just like to fix these things, not with the camera or with the screen recording going so i flipped the ha the canvas and i was like whose face is that and i know that i went back and made some edits to how my face looked so that it looked more human when i flipped it <laughs> um but you can be the judge of if it looks human or not that's okay i think it's a i think it's a decent looking face so i would have to i, I do live with it so I'm quite used to her now Okay, hi, editing Momo here. I I have to apologize, I'm so sorry. I completely either forgot to record the footage of like the last stages of making this piece or I lost the footage, I don't know. It's just not here. I'm sitting down to like put the video together and I'm like, uh -huh, I actually don't have the complete ending of this entire painting. So I'm just gonna kind of like walk us through it a little bit. Essentially, I had I had a vision, I had a goal. I was gonna do kind of a mishmash for the background, kind of a mishmash of how urban slash country a lot of places in Jamaica are. So, you know, we'd still have like the more modern buildings and stuff like that, but it is surrounded by mountains. And I was kind of trying to do a little play on that for the background. And then I started to paint it and I went, mm -hmm, this is ugly, I don't like it. So I essentially just chopped all of those, those big blue rectangles that you see in the back for some of the background. I just chopped those out and kind of painted it over with more trees and mountains and kept it really simple and kept it more um, country landscape vibes. And also I was looking obviously at the original Mona Lisa and it is very much just the country vibes. I just didn't like how things were stacking up, so I got rid of them. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> um, I think the majority, you get the gist the majority of the painting, so I don't think you really miss anything towards like the rendering out of the rest of my face and stuff like that, but yeah, I just realized that there is no, th the connect between the background that I was working on and the final background, very different. So I just wanted to hop in and say that. But yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. I know I just said, let's get back to the video, but I kind of lied a little bit. I feel like I've been gone off of making YouTube videos for a minute. And that's because I've been out here trying to, you know, live a life embrace inspiration and all that so i did i went to scotland i saw beyonce in concert i saw people playing bagpipes in the streets on my way back from a beyonce concert i went to castles it was pretty lit it's it's pretty cool um i promised myself i would do more youtube videos and i was like oh i should do one where i'm like huh, i'm going all over the world and stuff i'm lazy so this is the most we're gonna get out of you know a travel vlog type situation also, I'm back home now, um, or one of my homes. My, my 
I split my time between Jamaica and the US. So I'm back in Jamaica looking at the beautiful crystal clear blue waters. Very peaceful. Okay, now we're for real, back to the main video, and this is the final result. It's me, but as the Mona Lisa, isn't it pretty? <laughs> I don't know, I thought it'd be fun. I thought it'd be a fun way to just represent myself. Also, my family nickname is Mona Lisa, so there's that. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and hopefully I'll be more consistent in the future, but don't bet on it. Alright, catch you guys on the internet sometime soon. Goodbye!